Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will explore the famous movie Terminator, released in 1984. Terminator was one of the most prominent TV series of the 80s, known for its dramatic sci-fi action story and impressive acting cast. Many of them unfortunately passed away. So today, we will reminisce and review this movie again, with an overview of the cast to pay tribute and honor their contributions to the film industry. Now let's find out together. Number 15. Lance Henriksen, born on May 5, 1940 in New York, is a memorable face in the Terminator series. He played Detective Hal Vukovich in the first part in 1984 at the age of 44. Although the role was not big, Henriksen still left an impression with his realistic acting and sharp eyes. After Terminator, he continued to make a splash with the role of Bishop in Aliens, 1986, and the television series Millennium, 1996 to 1999. Currently, at the age of 84, Henriksen is still actively acting in films and voicing games. He is highly appreciated for his ability to transform diversely from villain to hero and is one of the most beloved character actors in Hollywood. Henriksen's career spanning more than six decades has contributed greatly to the film industry, especially in the science fiction and horror genres. Number 14. Dick Miller, born December 25, 1928 in the Bronx, New York, is a familiar face in the film industry. In Terminator, 1984, he played a gun shop owner when he was 56 years old. Despite only appearing in a short scene, Miller left a lasting impression with his natural and humorous acting. After Terminator, he continued to appear in many blockbuster films such as Gremlins, 1984, and Chopping Mall, 1986. Miller is known as a cult icon of independent cinema and B-movies. He passed away on January 30th, 2019, at the age of 90, leaving deep sorrow in the hearts of fans and colleagues. Miller's career has contributed greatly to the film industry, especially in elevating supporting roles and creating memorable moments on screen. Number 13. Bill Paxton, born May 17, 1955 in Fort Worth, Texas, is a versatile talent of Hollywood. In Terminator, 1984, he played a punk thug at the age of 29, making a strong impression despite only appearing in a short scene with his lively and energetic performance. Paxton's career then flourished with prominent roles in Aliens, 1986, Titanic, 1997, and the TV series Big Love, 2006 to 2011. He was not only an actor, but also a talented director with the film Frailty, 2001. Unfortunately, Paxton passed away on February 25, 2017 at the age of 61, leaving deep regret in the hearts of fans and colleagues. His sudden passing is considered a great loss to the film industry. Paxton is highly appreciated for his diverse acting ability and dedication to the art of cinema. Do you like this character in the movie? If so, leave comment number one. If you don't like, leave comment number zero. Number 12. Arnold Schwarzenegger, born July 30, 1947 in Thal, Austria, is an icon of Hollywood action cinema. He played the T-800, The Terminator in Terminator, 1984, and Terminator 2, Judgment Day, 1991, when he was 37 and 44 years old, respectively. Schwarzenegger left an indelible impression with his impressive muscular physique, cold eyes, and the immortal line, I'll be back. 
After the success of the Terminator series, he continued to shine in many blockbusters such as Total Recall, 1990, and True Lies, 1994. In addition to acting, Schwarzenegger is also known for his political career, serving as governor of California from 2003 to 2011. Today, at the age of 77, he is still a highly influential star, active in social and environmental activities. Schwarzenegger's contributions to cinema and society have made him one of the most admired figures in America. Number 11. Paul Winfield, born May 22, 1939, in Los Angeles, California, is a talented actor with a diverse career. In Terminator, 1984, he played Lieutenant Ed Traxler at the age of 45, leaving a strong impression with his mature and powerful performance. Winfield is known for his ability to portray characters with depth and complexity. After Terminator, he continued to make his mark in many films and television series, most notably his role in Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, 1982. Winfield died on March 7, 2004, at the age of 64, leaving behind deep sorrow in the film community and fans. His passing was considered a great loss to the film industry. Winfield was highly appreciated for his acting talent and pioneering role for black actors in Hollywood. Number 10. Paul Richard Strong, born November 16, 1934, in Kansas City, Missouri, was a character actor with a notable career in the entertainment industry. In the movie Terminator, 1984, he played a homeless man when he was 53 years old. Although the role was not large, Strong still left an impression on the audience with his realistic acting and impressive screen presence. After Terminator, he continued to appear in many films and television series, showing his ability to transform diversely through supporting roles. Trump passed away on February 17, 2003, at the age of 71. Although not an A-list star, his passing was still mourned by the film community and fans. Shrum's contributions to cinema, especially in elevating supporting roles, helped enrich the cinematic landscape. Number 9. Bess Mata, born February 10, 1958 in Woodland Hills, California, is a memorable face in the movie Terminator, 1984. She played Ginger Ventura, Sarah Connor's roommate, when she was only 26 years old. Mata left an impression on the audience with her beautiful and dynamic appearance, along with her natural acting ability as a modern young girl. After Terminator, Mata continued her career in the entertainment industry, but mainly focused on fitness and aerobics. She became famous for her 20-minute workout exercise video series in the 80s. Currently, at the age of 65, Mata is still active in the fitness industry and sometimes appears at Terminator-related events. Although she did not become a big Hollywood star, Bess Mata is still remembered as an indispensable part of the classic movie Terminator. Number 8. Earl Bowen, born August 8, 1941, in New York City, is a talented actor with a unique voice. In the Terminator series, he played Dr. Peter Silberman, a skeptical psychologist, appearing in all three of the first installments. When he joined Terminator, 1984, Bowen was 43 years old and left a strong impression with his subtle acting, expressing doubt and confusion in the face of inexplicable events. In addition to Terminator, Bowen is also famous for his voice acting roles in many animated films and video games. 
He is especially known for his role as Luchuk in the Monkey Island game series. Earl Bowen passed away on January 5, 2023, at the age of 81. His passing left deep sorrow in the film and gaming communities. Bowen is highly regarded for his versatile acting ability and unique voice acting talent, making a huge contribution to both the film and gaming industries. Number 7. Michael Bean, born July 31, 1956 in Anniston, Alabama, is a prominent figure in the action film industry. In Terminator, 1984, he played Kyle Reese, a soldier from the future, at the age of 28. Bean left a strong impression with his emotional and physical performance, excellently portraying the character's determination and intense love. After Terminator, Bean continued to make a splash with his roles in Aliens, 1986, and The Abyss, 1989, both directed by James Cameron. He also participated in many independent films and tried his hand at directing. Today, at 67, Bean is still active in the film industry, although he no longer stars in blockbusters. Bean's contributions helped shape the science fiction and action genres of the 80s and 90s, leaving a memorable mark on fans. Number 6. Rick Rosevich, born on August 28th, 1957 in San Francisco, California, made a lasting impression on audiences through his role as Matt Mason in the classic action film Terminator, 1984. At the age of 31, Rick transformed into a young, brave police officer, always ready to face dangerous situations. With his handsome appearance and natural acting, he created a memorable character, contributing significantly to the success of the film. After Terminator, Rick Rosevich continued to participate in many other film and television projects, but none of his roles really resonated like Matt Mason. However, he is still loved and remembered by the audience through the image of a young, enthusiastic policeman in this classic work. Until now, Rick Rosevich is still alive and still active in the entertainment industry. Although he no longer appears much on the big screen, his contributions to Hollywood cinema are always recognized and appreciated by the audience. Number 5 Franco Colombiu, whose real name is Francesco Maria Colombiu, was born on August 7, 1941 in Alalai, Sardinia, Italy. In the classic film Terminator, 1984, Colombiu played the role of T-800, one of the killer robots sent from the future. Although he did not have much screen time, his muscular body and cold appearance left a strong impression on the audience, contributing to the tension and suspense of the film. In addition to his acting career, Columbia is also a bodybuilder, powerlifter, writer, producer, and orthopedist. He won the title of Mr. Olympia twice in 1976 and 1981. Franco Columbia passed away on August 30th, 2019 at the age of 78. His passing leaves a huge void in the hearts of fans and the world bodybuilding community. His contributions to sports, cinema, and medicine will always be remembered and honored. Number 4. Linda Hamilton, born on September 26th. 1956 in Salisbury, Maryland, Linda Hamilton is one of Hollywood's leading actresses. Her career took a new turn when she took on the role of Sarah Connor in the classic science fiction film Terminator, 1984. At the age of 28, Linda brilliantly transformed into the image of an ordinary but determined young girl, becoming a symbol of strength and independence. 
the role of Sarah Connor brought Linda Hamilton's name to a new height. She returned to the role in the sequel, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, 1991, with a much stronger, more determined image. This dramatic transformation left a deep impression on the audience and affirmed Linda Hamilton's acting talent. Despite being in her 60s, Linda Hamilton still retains her own charm and appeal. Linda Hamilton's career has been an inspiration to many generations of actors, especially actresses who want to build a strong, independent image on screen. Number 3. Brian Thompson, born on August 28, 1959 in Ellensburg, Washington, Brian Thompson is famous for his impressive villain roles. His career began with a small role in the classic film Terminator, 1984. Although he only appeared in a short scene, with his tall, cold appearance, Brian left an unforgettable impression on the audience. After the success of Terminator, Brian continued to participate in many film and television projects, often taking on the role of cruel and ruthless villains. He became famous for his role as Night Slasher in the film Cobra, 1986, a horror villain that haunted the audience. Although he often took on villainous roles, Brian Thompson is a friendly and sociable person in real life. He has left a strong mark on the entertainment industry with unique roles and excellent transformation ability. His career is a testament to the talent and diversity of an actor. Do you like this character in the movie? If so, leave comment number one. If you don't like, leave comment number zero. Number 2. Sean Chips, born July 25, 1961, is an actress, screenwriter, and producer. She is best known for her role as Nancy, Sarah Connor's co-worker at Big Jeff's Diner in the classic film Terminator, 1984. At the age of 23, Sean contributed to creating a normal, everyday atmosphere in contrast to the tense, dramatic atmosphere of the film. Although the role of Nancy was not too prominent, it was the beginning of Sean's acting career. After Terminator, she continued to participate in many other film and television projects, such as Weeds, Encino Man, Drumline. In addition to acting, Sean also tried her hand at the role of screenwriter and producer, demonstrating her versatility. Currently, Sean Sheps is still active in the entertainment industry, continuing to contribute to art. Although not an A-list star, the role of Nancy in Terminator helped her leave an impression on the audience and become an indispensable part of the overall picture of this classic film. Number 1. Robert Patrick was born on November 5, 1958 in Marietta, Georgia, and is one of the most prominent names in Hollywood cinema. He played the classic villain T-1000 in the sci-fi action film Terminator 2, Judgment Day, 1991. At the age of 33, Robert perfectly transformed into a cold and ruthless shape-shifting killing machine. With his excellent acting and impressive appearance, he became the obsession of audiences around the world. The role of T-1000 not only made Robert Patrick a star, but also became one of the most classic villains in cinema history. The perfect combination of acting and special effects created an unforgettable image. To this day, at the age of 65, Robert Patrick is still a beloved and respected actor. His career is a testament to the talent and versatility of a true actor. The T-1000 will forever be one of his most iconic roles, but Robert Patrick's contributions to the film industry go far beyond that.
Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the Terminator cast's transformation. If you enjoyed our journey through time, please support us by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to our channel so you don't miss out on any more great content. See you in the next video.